Hey guys, how's it going? Manic Idol back once again, this time with Late Shift. This comes out on 18th of April, and I've been playing in a little, you know, I've, I've been playing it. About each playthrough will take about 18 minutes, but I really like this game, it's awesome. So, yeah, um, the game's out today, April the 18th. Um, I'm, I'm only going to show about 20 minutes to give you a taste of the game, see if you like it or not, but, um, what do I keep saying? Um, for, um, um, but yeah, let's get into it. Awesome, mode. Let's go. I'll see the settings, just you know, just give you the, the settings. But um, all right, let's go now. Some people say we're all connected. London. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow. Endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before? Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street? I'm sorry, mate, that's much right. Bond Street? Yeah. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Platform, please. Just through there. Thank you. So, yeah, for all the information about this game, all you gotta do is click show more below the YouTube video. I'm not going to be speaking too much because it's more, you know, cinematic experience. However, I'll be giving my input here and there. As I said, I, you know. That was Ferrari. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he's saturated with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. That's all. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit.
forget something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. Did you just assume my gender? I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? Ah, uh, I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Okay. Okay. Good boy. What's in it for me? I'll owe you one. One what? One favour. How do I know you're good for your favours? You can bank my favours. Fuck. What? It's nothing. Not a scratch, not a stain, nothing, all right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car, and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah. You're back here by one, not a minute later. Yes, sir. What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. Okay. <sighs> Get out! Oh, sorry. You open it up. She goes inside. Get out of your fucking mind! Now you get in the car. Hey, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. Interesting. So, that all went a bit pear-shaped, didn't it? I'll run. I'll be a dickhead. Get back here. Screw you, bitch. the guy from the car park. Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. Oh, I'll, I'll fall for it. Okay. <sighs> oh, such a nice car. Uh... Can you 
drop me off at South Ken, please, mate? Look, something's come up I need to take care of first. Oh, fucking hell. Look, I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money, my family's got no money, what am I to you? A problem, that's what. You know the guy broke into the garage, don't you? Maybe. I didn't see his face, okay? I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. Just relax. Who's the baggage? His fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Letting an eyewitness get away. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, God. And who oh, the hell's God. gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, OK? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. <sighs> Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? Yes, would have had headaches like you. Hold still, making things worse. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key, what the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face. Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Well, you can. Yep, certainly can. Looks like I just bought yourself a ticket and buy this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. Yeah, boys, we gotta rob shit. You better not fuck this up. Okay, hey, let's get girl, girl, don't worry. So what's the plan? This is what's gonna happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Mei Ling from Beijing. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. Again, I'm praying this before release, so it's kind of there's some scenes which aren't too smooth and stuff, but it'll, it'll all be fixed by lunch, I'm sure. So, yeah, anyway, continue on. Oh my god, London Bridge. Oh man, I want one of those. They're nice. BMW. I think it's the i8s, maybe. Mystery ladies and difficult choices. So much for the quiet night. 
I mean, all I was was a valet, and now I'm just. I don't Didn't even know what the hell's going on. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choice are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So, we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Shut up. No, you're not. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime's still a crime. And me and my wife, Mei Leng from Beijing, going in. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. 9.40. Do I hear 9.40? 9.40. Thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once. 9.50 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvellous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is... 950 grand. For its time. Just Thank try you. to keep Very your powder dry. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. <laughs> so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. <laughs> What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three That's simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of a red down. phoenix pattern Sorry. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, but he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we shall begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five, you I'm get 20% on the sale price, don't we? Phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you, stop ma'am. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? The odds are not good. Nine I'm looking for. Price increases on a logarithmic. All curve, around the room. Closing in on zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you very much. Chance of getting away with another nine million. Well, so do I hear nine five? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine million once. Nine million twice. Sold to the gentleman on my right at nine million times. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. Twenty-three percent. I guess we'll never know, will we? Come on, let's 
gas man. The wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, but mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? I'll just do as I was told. Yeah, there's seven different endings, I believe, and over four hours worth of content, and it's all like varying. There's lots of different choices. Out of all of the probabilities. There's just so many more new things that can here? change a lot of things in the game, and it's really, really cool. So yeah, you can purchase this today, April the 18th. You did well, stopping mailing like that. Don't know what I've gotten into. Her. Follow me. She seems to like the rush. You don't say. Okay, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out into the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, freeze the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Oh look, guys. <clears throat> Matt, what are you doing? Where did you come from? Fuck, what's wrong with this? It's not your monitor, mate. There are thieves inside the building right now, and they've hacked into your security system. You stay there. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Simon, we're at the door. Okay, you have to enter both codes simultaneously. Got it? Okay, timing is key here. The left keypad is 309220. Okay, punch in the right code and I'm good. On the right keypad, enter this 085209, okay? Got it. Now both hit enter at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. Got it, we're in. Yeah, boys. Thanks, mate. Take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. Smoothly. 
I'm not high fiving you. No way. <laughs> she feels like a dick now. <laughs> You're a blank book. Impossible to read. Now, I can read people, but you? Nothing. Pitch black. Let me see it. I want to see the bulb. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until it gets to Wu's place to turn it into money. Too fucking right. You want to take a left? Some Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. That sounds classy. What are we going to do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. I was getting quiet then. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. We're going to end it here on a cliffhanger. Called Late Shift. And, um, yeah, you can pick it up today. April 18th, lots of different endings. If you're a fan of FMVs, you're definitely going to love this one. It's uh, really, really good and cool. So, thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks, guys. Have a good day, and uh, enjoy the cliffhanger. If you enjoyed this video, to the top left, there will be a playlist of more content from our channel. To the bottom left, there will be my previous video on the hidden levels, and of course to the top right there will be our logo which you can click to subscribe and to the bottom right is our Patreon to help support us and create more videos for our channel daily. Thank you guys and have a good one.